What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today what I'm gonna be doing is cutting down a roll of wrap. So I bought a, 50, a 54 inch roll of wrap. I need it to be 30 inches because that's what the width of my laminate is. And then the 24 inch, I'm gonna get another roll of wrap and cut it down to make up for the, uh... but anyway, so what I'm be doing right now is cutting down the 54 inch roll of wrap to a 30 inch roll. And uh, on my last video that I made, I cut down a roll of wrap, I got a bunch of questions asking what kind of saw I had, what kind of blade it was, um, the speed of how I cut it. Cause in the video I sped it up, people didn't, couldn't tell that. So I'm gonna go through that right now. So I'll cut this in real time. So you'll see how fast I do it. So right now the roll I have is 50 yards though. So I have to cut it twice. So I have to cut it once and then roll it a little bit, cut it again to get a full cut through. Where on a 25 yard roll, you can just do one cut and you'll get all the way through. So uh, let's go through what, uh, what kind of saw I have and what kind of blade it is. So the saw I use is a DW715 12 inch compound miter saw. This is just a standard saw from Lowe's. Now, obviously the blade description has been a little worn off from use, but you can tell it's, a, it's not your standard wood blade. It's got a lot of teeth on it and it's a, uh, yeah, so this is what the blade looks like. I'll get a, a in the description below, I'll put a, a, a link and the name of what this actual blade is so you guys can get one yourself if you want one. And now let's go ahead and cut this uh, roll of wrap down. So obviously the first thing you wanna do is get your roll of wrap flat, your saw on a sturdy surface, <laughs> I'm using the ground. You wanna uh, brace up this end of the wrap with something so you're not having to hold it up and make sure you cut. So that way you cut straight, you're not cutting at an angle on accident. So brace it up. Double check the measurement of your roll, make sure it is the length that you think it is. It is 54 inches. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be measuring out 30 inches. The length that I wanna cut. It's right there. My hands are a little dirty and the top layer of wrap will get a little messed up, which isn't a big deal because it will be going, um, you can just run it through and cut it off. But you'd rather lose a couple feet than not be able to use the whole roll. So it's not a big deal to me. Now, once you have your your mark set, get your saw set up, make sure it's up against the backing, make sure it's straight, cause you don't want to cut it at an angle or cut an angle this way. So make sure you brace it up well. So right there, I've cut the first part of my wrap. So now I have to rotate the wrap up and cut through it again. Now obviously one thing you wanna make sure of is you get your, whole, your slot line back up. Now if you, you could rotate it all the way around or you can do a couple different increments of rolling, which is what I'm gonna be doing right now. So there you have it, you have the roll cut down just like that. Always practice your saw safety. Keep your hands free of the blade, use your guards, so on and so forth. So obviously, like I said, you can see the wrap does have some marring on it, some marks right there, it's got a little nick on it. But obviously there's backing paper and you can just unroll that, cut it off, and then be on your way. And there is 
dust and stuff that does fall into here from cutting it. So make sure you clean that out so you don't get that on your printer or your laminate or anything like that. So right here you can see a bunch of this stuff comes off. So obviously just be careful with it. And if you go slow, the roller wrap will be white still and still good to use. If you get your blade off, there is a little edge here, which is totally fine. I've had that happen before. It's not a problem. So that's how you cut down a roll of wrap. As you can see, I went slow. I took my time. One thing you would be very careful about is going too fast because you can melt through the wrap and cause damage. Or you can burn the wrap, which obviously isn't good. Or you can burn the roll and start messing up the end of your roll. So you should be very careful about that stuff. But other than that, that's how you cut down a roll of wrap. That's in real time. Um, so hopefully it works out for you guys. I'll put in the description below. Like I said, I'll put the, uh, the blade description and all that stuff. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, have a good day and thanks for watching.